Minorities suffer disproportionately from many diseases such as heart disease, cancer, strokes, and diabetes. Clinical trials are important for furthering research and treatment of these diseases. However, many minorities are skeptical about the risks and benefits of clinical trials and therefore choose not to participate in them. Sebastian and Joe? Here, present. Please go this way. Thank you. So, what are clinical trials? People will give tests like animals, which we know just in the kind of Well, that's not true at all. A person must give informed consent and qualify before participating in a clinical trial. Safety is a primary concern of clinical trials. There can be risks and inconveniences involved in some clinical trials. For instance, there may be unpleasant or serious side effects from taking medication, or a person may be asked to stay at a study site for an extended period of time. However, if at any time you begin to experience health problems, you can get medical attention. Also, it is important to keep in mind that a participant can leave a clinical trial at any time for any reason. Busted! So, why do we have clinical trials? For nothing. They have no use. That's not true. Clinical trials are useful for evaluating medications, disease prevention, diagnosing and screening for diseases, and improving quality of life. Busted! So, what will happen if I take this pills? Don't call me girl tell. Besides, that's what all clinical trials are about. Taking pills and seeing the side effects. And you should know that all clinical trials don't involve taking pills. There are a variety of clinical trials. For example, there are clinical trials that find better ways to prevent disease and promote lifestyle changes, like improving eating habits. Also, there are clinical trials that find better ways to detect certain diseases or health conditions. Other clinical trials explore ways to improve comfort and the quality of life for individuals living with a chronic illness. Busted! Who actually benefits from clinical trials? These companies get all the big bucks. What's in it for me? It doesn't seem like you get much from it except for the experience. Some have very good incentives, such as paying money for participating. In the past, mostly white people participated in clinical trials. An incentive could be you or your family member, and other minority families may benefit from what is learned in a clinical trial. Uh, busted! Hello, my name is Curtis Smart, and I'm here with the Jones family. So tell me a little bit about this clinical trial that you all were in. They were in the third and the fifth grade when they participated, so they may not remember very much, but it was, they were studying how children developed and learned how to speak and narrate and give stories. And so they were part of the control group. They were um, at, their, at their grade level in learning skills, and so they were compared to children that were impaired and needed help. So. This concludes our interviews, and if you have any questions or want to know any information about clinical trials, we encourage minorities to participate in these clinical trials, but check out these websites for further information. Thank you.
Can I help you? Yeah. Can, can I get the special? But of course, you can have it your way. Is it gonna be fresh? Yes, it'll be. Finger looking good. How can I get the product? Think outside the bug. You know the routine. Say the password. Man, I can't believe we're gonna do this. There's a new healthy kid out there. You think she'll make it around? You know what happened to Jared after rehab. After all, he was the biggest loser. You fool! No one can resist the special. Fast food is like a legal drug that is affecting all American communities, but especially low-income and minority communities. It is up to us to do something about it. Did you know poor eating habits put you at increased risk for developing adult diseases such as heart disease, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and knee and joint problems? Did you know 40% of overweight children will become obese in adulthood and be at increased risk for developing certain types of cancers? Let me show you something. Did you know 36% of African American boys are overweight and 46% of African American girls are overweight? Did you know one study found that African American children on average watch two to three hours of TV each day this increases considerably on the weekends. Also, parents have little understanding of how much physical activity children need to be physically fit. Children need 60 minutes of physical activity daily. Did you know 33% of Hispanic boys and 30% of Hispanic girls are overweight. Did you also know a child's risk for obesity increases an average of 60% with each additional daily serving of soda? The good news is we can change the future of obesity and illness. Healthy eating begins with proper education. If you think you or someone you know is overweight or at risk of being overweight, you should see a doctor. Signs of being overweight include a body mass index of greater than 25, or a waist circumference of 40 inches or greater in males or 35 inches or greater in females. Remember, physical activity is an important part of being healthy. Kids should be getting at least 60 minutes of physical activity each day. Healthy eating begins at home and should be a family effort. For more information on making healthy food choices that includes adequate daily servings of fruits and vegetables, you should see a registered nutritionist or dietitian. You can also join the YMCA, the YWCA, the Boys Girls Club for sports and exercise programs. Check out these websites.